what is happening give you a little rest of development opening this morning I'm going to give you guys a room tour this is my I guess viewing room and where I keep my the majority of my media and we'll kind of start off here right in the center of the room here's my two chairs set in this is a cheaper Amazon chair and this is my it's more expensive chair I sit in mostly that I know they're not matching exactly but I don't really have the room to put a big gigantic um, cinematic top uh, cinematic top couch in here so and that's what I enjoy sitting in I like a chair that rocks like that so um, we'll basically start around on this side of the room there's my Monty Python laser disc and um, these are my tobacco pops. Um, I'm currently not smoking, so I'm not using those right now, but I still like to display them. That's a hobby I enjoy, smoking cigars and pops, but uh, like I'm right now, I'm not smoking, so. Not tempting, though. And uh, we'll move over here. This is the first, uh, this will be the the first standalone rack. And these are some of my favorite things. These are my Mystery Science Theater sets. And, um, yeah. I have pretty much all of the, I have all but six sets. The Mystery Science Theater. I think I have all the episodes that can be had without getting into the copyrighted episodes. Um, they basically had about six sets that I think has like maybe one episode or maybe two episodes per set that um, that I guess got copyright striked after they made the videos and they. Uh, so now they're out of print and they're very expensive and eBay's about the only place you can find them and they're wanting about $200 a pop. So hopefully one of these days I can either just find them or I just don't want to pay that much money for them, but I do want to eventually have the complete collection. So if anybody's got any out there that want to sell them cheap, I'll be, I'd love to buy them from you. But um, other than that, on the bottom here, there's the two new, Here's the two new Mystery Science Theater sets. And I have stuff like this. These are these are some of the standalone things. There's Manos, Hands of Fate, Special Edition. There's the Lost and Found. These are the collection, Lost and Found. And um, singles are basically the leftovers from the discs that were discontinued. There's the very first Mystery Science Theater DVD that I bought back in probably 1999 or 2000. I guess it was actually 2000, 2001, because that's when these very first started to release. This is how they originally released the Mystery Science Theaters, was, was in single discs like this. I have this one, I have one other, but the other one, um, I haven't got the case out of storage. And these are... The film crew, which, um, the film crew was, um, was Mike and the, basically the second crew for Mystery Science Theater. They, uh, they went on to do, um, they went on to do, um, Riff Tracks, excuse me. Yeah, there they are. Mike Nelson, Kevin Murphy, and Bill Corbett. I'm, I'm bad with names, so you can, uh, yell at me if you want to, but I'm really bad with names, but... They did four. They did four of these for uh, originally for Rhino, and uh, then Rhino sold out and became Shout Factory, and um, and that was all they made. Then, but Rift Tracks had taken off by then, and so they they didn't do any more of those. Here's some of the Rift Tracks stuff, Free for Madness there. I got a few of these on DVD. I got a bunch of Rift Track stuff 
on a computer, but walking shorts. I think Mystery Science Theater, the movie's down here too, so. Yeah, there it is. There's the movie that came out in 96, I think, 97. 96, I believe. I went and seen it in the theater. I'm sorry I've spent so much time on Mystery Science Theater. This is my favorite. But these right here are the, these are the, Rhino, the original Rhino sets that were, were released. Um... They they look they have these solid black cases, and these are the these are the re-releases from the Rhino sets. Rhino released I think thirteen sets, twelve or thirteen sets, and before they switched to Shout Factory, and these are the re-releases for those sets. I don't have all the original Rhino sets. I have four of them. This one and these two. And these are these are the these are the shout factory sets what they changed over to. They went to that type of system. Instead of a fold out box, they went to single folders. They're pretty cool. And they also came with um came with these little mini posters. And there's a bunch of them I have to put in. I took them out for a while, but they came with these little mini posters. So I've got a bunch of them here. Okay, we'll kind of speed up now a little bit. We'll go on to the second second standalone shelf here. And these are basically my um basically my drive-in classics and my kind of um what we call them, I guess they're um exploitation movies. And you get on the bottom here, you, I get into my adult swim cartoons have all like aqua teen hunger force things like that some of these some of these movies aren't exploitations i got like idiocracy right here you know the putney swope's one that's an interesting movie that's actually putney swope is directed by robert downey senior robert downey jr's dad it's a pretty crazy exploitation and some of this, you know, I got like the Audie Murphy collections here. And there's some there's some other collections. They're kind of mixed up right now. But the top couple rows here are the Exploitation and Drive-In Classics. We move over here to the... Excuse me, I don't have a lot of room between this chair and this. So, um... We move over here and it just gets into TV sets here. Some some of my TV sets. Once again, they're not in order. A couple of seasons of F Troop there. Strangers with Candy. Keenan Peel. Black Adler. Black Adder, excuse me. Stuff like that. Get a life. Awesome. Just different things mixed in here. All the Curb Your Enthusiasm. So, so far. Beavis and Butthead so on sorry i'm getting a little bit close there but these are the standalone racks here there's one more standalone rack in this room and this is the big black standalone rack here you're seeing now this um the very top row here that you're seeing is the these are 4K, standalone 4K sets. Sets and 4K sets. As you can see, I have like the Apocalypse Now. And I love this set. This, this um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood set. This is the one that comes with the vinyl record. Um... This one I did open. I, I had intention I had intentions to not open this one, and that I received it first. And I really wanted to watch. I really wanted to. Um, I 
to watch the movie and I was wanting the steel book but the steel book came late so I ended up opening that one and the steel book still in its case and in this row the the second row down here this will be the steel books and these first bunch here are my are my Marvel Cinematic Universe they're not in order and then there's other then you get down towards the end you get into the other you get into some more of the um, cinematic universes. They're all out of order right now. I haven't reordered my sets right now. But these are still books. Got about three and a half rows of still books. I don't have tons. I know there's people out there, massive still book collectors that buy everything in still book. And I'm not going to do that because I just, I'm not going to rebuy everything. It's just because. And some of the still books just don't have that great artwork on them, you know, to spend you know extra money on now if they're 20 bucks or something i'll buy them all day long but but um i'm not going to pay 30 dollars for everything some things i will and some things i won't now i love these sets these um ultra ultraman sets you know i just have a ton of and ton of steel books i hope my my camera works kind of shoddy today There's some more steel books, and then there, then the steel books are sandwiched in between. And here's some more 4Ks right here, standalone 4Ks, and all this stuff stacked up right here is all the new stuff. And we'll uh, the second part of this video, we'll go through these, and then on the very bottom, here's some more TV sets and movie sets. These are larger sets. As you can see there. Okay, we're going to move on to the main. This is the main shelf in the room. It's the shelves I built. This house is the main part of, collect, of the collection. Um, on this end is all the kind of the specialty companies. Go to the very top here. And get into the Shout Factories, Scream Factories, Shout Select, all those special The second one I think we have Mill Creek and there might be some Olive Fields and Severn films up here. Here on the end is these Paramount movies they started releasing as you can see they're out of order we come on down to the next shelf and we get into the Kino Lorber my favorite my favorite film company and the first are some sets here these all the sets I have right now and they're all kind of mixed up you got some of the some of the Kino, um, the special stuff. And then you come down. I got two big rows of Kinos. Come on down to the next row here. We have um, Criterion Collection. I like Criterion is one of my favorites as well. But I think Kino is my favorite. This Criterion is probably my second favorite. Don't have tons of them because they're just costly. Even when you get them on the and you get them on sale, um, Criterion just went up a whole lot lately. If anybody's ever noticed, they just they've went up to about twenty seven bucks on Amazon for the most part. And even if you wait to get them on sale, they're still going to be they still are about twenty five bucks at well they might be twenty to twenty five bucks at um um. The bookstore it sells them, excuse me. And I did the Godzilla review. Here's all my Godzilla stuff right here. This oh this is not all my Godzilla stuff. This is my this in you know my independence my uh, excuse me, my Godzilla sets. Everything's wanting to fall over like it did before. why they're not wanting to um, 
stand up here for. It's like Godzilla 3D. Which I don't have a 3D TV anymore, so. And over here are some DVD Criterion collections that I had, like Fear and Loathing Las Vegas, Days and Confused. Arrow video on this shelf. I have a few arrows. I don't have a lot. They're kind of the same way as... They're about the same as Criterion. They're kind of expensive, so... I don't blow all my money on. These are just a mix mash of these different these different clear cases they're different they're different um companies mixed up but they're kind of they're all good movies that's why i have them here concrete jungle things like that some of these I, a lot of these are still in the cases i have not sat down and watched yet these are kind of a mishmash of um it's mostly um All this is mostly um, vinegar syndrome, excuse me. I've got the the rad, obviously, 4K. Everybody looks like they've went out and bought the rad steelbook they released. I think everybody in town has that, but it looks like it's going to be a special deal to have that 4K. Yeah, they, they made 300 of them, but I don't really, you know, it didn't seem like they sold them that fast. So I, everybody should who wanted one should have been able to have gotten one. But and these are my these are my um, media books. Everybody knows what those are called. I got a few cool ones in here. Um, every now and then they'll make a new one. You know, this is the first way I bought the Big Lebowski on Blu-ray. It came in that media book, which is odd. That's quite a few, hopefully quite a few people still have that. Um, these actually might be the olive movies down here. Yeah, I put the olives down here. I don't have a whole lot of olive films, but excuse me, my camera working. But, Yeah, but this is basically all my special, my special, my special row here. The middle row is this gets into your common Blu-rays. It's just all my regular titles, which have not been. Um, alphabetized yet i will be doing that here soon if there's anything anybody wants me to talk about in my collection that i'm going through wants a more individual take on something then i'll make a video on it just have to send me a email or send me a shout out through youtube or twitter or something like that or email be fine I'm kind of moving quickly because I've took so much time on the earlier. I got so much stuff. I'd like to pull some stuff out and say, hey, you're going to check this out or something, you know. And um, I don't know really what to do because I got a lot of good stuff. And, you know, Accidental Studio is pretty cool. I'm going to um, move on now. Now the the last shelf over here is all sets. So the, the top shelf you're seeing right here is movie sets. Then you move on down to the next shelf. It's more movie sets. Then we move on down, we get into the TV sets, which I have a lot of TV sets. More TV sets. And they're mixed up between Blu-ray and DVD. 
this shelf here just kind of breaks. It's a break in the action. It's a anime and animation. I know my camera work can be desired, but I'm doing this handheld, so don't throw up from the constant motion, please. And then we go on down to more TV sets, and it's pretty much TV sets all the way down. I'm close to my, I'm having to do this now because you're, you're right next to my table here, so. Going down here, you get on down to the bottom here is the star trek sets i have um star trek and there, there's some there's some wwf sets i like classic wrestling i'm not a big wrestling fan as far as the new stuff but i like classic wrestling this is my table where i record at mixing board preamps compressor microphone i don't record with this on i just use it for a dust cover sure ksm 27 this is what i use the light with right now i'm just using the laptop to do everything eventually i'm gonna get a piece a more powerful pc and, and i'm using a gopro really to just do my webcam type stuff right now and um you can see it's a mess right here a mess of wires and these shelves right here that you're seeing i'll move around the chair and get a better view but these are my laser discs it's kind of crammed up right here with my side table and everything but those are um those are my laser disc sets on top here and then you get into the single laser disc here on the bottom this space had to be left open unfortunately for this thing here this freaking air conditioner i have to use the air conditioner on the second floor of this house so it's a kind of a pain in the butt we got a geothermal system here in the house but it just doesn't um have enough ump for upstairs it should have been a multiple multiple units house but it it wasn't um built like that but these are just more more dvd shelves these are basically all tv stuff there might be some movie stuff in here here and there but some of it's newer you get down there you can see you got some kids in the hall i got all the kids in the hall I got the three original sets and then the two two sets that were released later on. Son of the Beach. There's that Mission Impossible Blu-ray set. I just bought that Shit's Creek. I'll be reviewing that later a little bit or just showing it up close. Americans, Coach. These are just some old DVD stuff. That's the old Star Wars and old like Hellboy and Sin City sets. The Married with Children. There's actually no discs in the Married with Children because um, it's just a cheap spindle system inside. The box is kind of rigid, but the it's just a single spindle. you got to set every disc on top of that spindle. It sucks. You move, move over to here. There's Here's another shelf of laser discs. There's a little pile of laser discs. I'll show you guys those later. It's new stuff, which everything would be new. These are criterions up here on top laser discs criterion sets which are cool yeah, these boxes these criterion boxes though kind of suck i think they they get really roughed up but you know you got cool stuff on laser discs like pulp fiction on criterion collection which you never had on dvd There's a there's the X original X Files DVD set. I love this set. It's a beautiful set. Um, it's so big though. I don't. Um, I'll, I'll do a review on it maybe one of these days and compare it. Do the comparison between it and the and the Blu-ray set, which is up here. But on top of this shelf here is um, where here's some amiibos and just uh, this is about the all only toys that I have. I don't really collect toys. I'm not um, a big toy collector. It's tempting, but I don't want to pay $200 for a doll. I'm just, 
I have no ill will for people that do, uh, you know, like people like Az and people like that on Hills vs. Babyface. So I love watching those shows, but I just don't want to spend the money on it myself. You, you see what I collect. They collect that. This is what I collect. And these are the, like, Lord of the Rings Steelbook 4K sets. And these are all 4K sets here. There's the Harry Potter 4K Steelbook set, Rambo 4K Steelbook set, and the Batman 4K Steelbook set. Back behind all this, you can see all this stuff piled up. Or there's there's a rest. Excuse me, um, Breaking Bad, the big Breaking Bad set back there. You can see, and then those are the Mill Creek sets. Those big Mill Creek box sets. I've got a bunch of them back there, and um, and then there's the Gun Smoke set. Um, I don't know what's fun. Oh yeah, there's there's that big Lebowski set. This Jurassic World tin is nothing important. It's just something I bought at some point for cheap. It's just neat. It's a little Jurassic World lunchbox. There's the only other toy I really have other than Gumby down here. But um, my Gina Crono. One, I have one of them. That's all. And then there's the Three Stooges set next to Gina Crono. Cara Dune, Funko Pop. And on top here, as you can see, are long box sets. And there's a couple of, um, you know, obviously, obviously the Godzilla Criterion set, which I love. Plus, I have the Federico Fellini Criterion set up here, and the Gamera, the Gamera, Aero Video set here. As we continue on around here, this is my TV. I'll back up a little bit here so you can see it. It's 65 inch LG OLED TV 2020 model. Um, I have I mainly I do, I'm just mainly like classic games and but everything I have here is Nintendo. So I just have the classic Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Switch, and the. Uh, well, my mind went blank there for a second. The uh, I have the. Um, Wii U, excuse me. <laughs> Apologize there. Wii U. And I have a, I do have a, I do have an Xbox, but it's not hooked up right now. There's just another mess of stuff. That there's a regular Wii, which I just used kind of for the, for a game cube. And here's my Blu-ray 4K player. And my laser disc player. And this is how I don't have speakers. I, I enjoy listening to everything in these in these Sennheiser wireless headphones. That's how I listen to everything. And that kind of concludes my room tour. I have do have in another room. I do have some more shelves with dvds and stuff on but I, it's my bedroom i won't take you into there and maybe i'll show that to you guys another day